One of the easiest ways to get your music into TV shows is submitting your music through a music library. What up, it's your boy Skylar Zero, the music producer you can grow with, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can start finding these music libraries, where to find them, and how to submit to them when you're trying to get these sync licensing placements. I've personally worked for a music library for six years, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact method of how you can find these music libraries and what I do to also contact them and some goals that you can set for yourself. That way you're able to maximize off this stream of revenue of royalties and collect that back end money. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. There's gonna be a couple of different ways you can find music libraries, but I'm gonna go through the easy one first, and that is actually searching and Googling music library directories. You're gonna find different lists of music library directories with a ton of different resources as far as music libraries. Some of them are free, some of them are not. When you look through these music library directors, you're gonna see just tons of different music libraries where you can actually submit to. But I do wanna give a disclaimer. When you're submitting to these libraries, make sure you're doing your research and seeing which one fits for you. There's no reason to be sending out music that is hip hop or trap or EDM to a library that only wants classical music or only wants dark trailer uh, orchestral music. So really do your due diligence when you look at these lists because people basically compile lists together on a directory and they submit it up. If you are a person who makes top 40 billboard um, hip hop, pop, EDM, those type of R&B, that type of music. I do have an internal music library Google sheet that me and the Discord community have started to research and fill out ourselves. People go in and add music library and we have some notes on there as far as what type of music they want and different libraries that we found. So please be sure to join the Discord if you do want access to that, it is free. Just make sure that you're active in the Discord community. That's all we ask for. But yeah, like I said, the easiest way is going to be looking up music library directories. You're going to find different ones on here. Some of these might be outdated as far as the list and far, as far as the contact, but that's going to be a really good way to get your foot in the door and to get started with finding some of these. But I do recommend a better way, which is finding and researching some of these shows that you do want to work on. If you hear a show on TV that you think that, hey, I make music like this, I can definitely uh, submit some music to this. I definitely recommend doing this next way, which is starting your own list. There's a good, I recommend to anybody who's getting started with this is creating a list on Google Sheets or a Word document or whatever, and just start looking up different libraries and start creating your own directory for yourself and then start making notes for yourself and saying, I submitted to this library. Um, this is the type of music they're looking for. I submitted to this library. This library is not currently looking for music or I've heard back from this music. It'll keep yourself organized and it will definitely help you uh, increase the chances of getting your music within these shows. I recommend reaching out to as many libraries as possible until you get about two or three that accept you and then working only about two to three libraries at first. That way you can start creating a consistent uh, stream of music for that library. So we're gonna go ahead and look at some of these uh, libraries here. Um, you, you, you can see like these directories have tons and tons of different libraries on there that you can submit to and you can look at their site and on their site they either have a submission form or they'll have an email where you can submit so you can see like this site has a submission form of how to actually submit your music and what they tell you the requirements that they want so just do your due diligence and research on there another good way is going to be through linkedin so you can look up production libraries or you can look up music libraries and when you look that up it'll show a list of different music libraries that you can submit to so what you do is you go ahead and Look up on IMDb, these different production libraries or music libraries. Sync library is another keyword term that you can use as well to find these libraries, but make sure that you're looking up different libraries. So we can already see that when we're looking at this, we can find different people who are working directly in these libraries. So you see people are working as the music director, uh, you know, vice president of publishing. Just make sure that you're looking at these Profiles, make sure you're Googling the websites. You're not just hitting up these people randomly. You're hitting up the correct person who accepts submissions for these music libraries. So we'll look up Atomica Music Library and you can see they have a site. And on their site, they have different music that you can listen to for examples. They have playlists. That way you can get a feel of what type of music they like. You can look at their contact and see who you can reach out to as far as joining their email list or joining or you know submitting your music. So these are gonna be some of the easy ways to go ahead and submit your music. You can see right here, it has a music submission uh, part. So that's exactly what I would do. I would look at this, I will contact their, um, I will get their contact info and then I would make sure that I submit going, a bit, going against their protocol. 
like I said, start collecting these people on a list. Start start finding these libraries. Look them look them up on LinkedIn. Look them up on wherever, and make sure that you're creating a list for yourself. That way, you know that you already hit, reached out to this library, and you're keeping yourself in a professional manner. These people are professional. I'm not saying you need to have Grammys or you know you know awards or anything like that. You just need to hold yourself in a professional manner. The easier you are to work with for these libraries, the more they're gonna to wanna to work with you. So just make sure that you keep that in mind when you're submitting to these libraries. So like I said, you can look on LinkedIn and you'll find different music libraries on here. Create a list for yourself, Google their actual company name, you see how you can contact them. TuneFind, now TuneFind, I've had this on my, I have this on my course. So if you have taken my course, you've probably already seen this already. But on TuneFind, it's really cool because you can look up these different TV shows. So let's just pick a random show on here and see what we can find as far as the music. Let's say Blackish. Let's see who makes the music to Blackish. So you can see in here, you'll see the music super supervisor is going to be Full Pursuit. If we look up Full Pursuit, see that you can find the music supervisor or the composer music supervisors usually work directly with the music company but sometimes they do have libraries that work under them that they work with so you can go ahead and google them and then figure out which libraries are working with this music supervisor you can do that by going on linkedin and searching who their network or connections are or you can go ahead and do that by looking at um their their, their website and see what teams they have or what music companies they work with so those are going to be some of the easiest ways to find these music libraries. It doesn't take much effort. Just do a little research, take about an hour a week and find these libraries, make a list for yourself or join my discord community and go ahead and download that Google sheet that is free to use. Um, as long as you sign up with the discord, you'll be able to access that library sheet. Just request access and I'll grant it to anybody who's trying to look at that information. We'll, we're going to be adding more to that list as well. So if you find anything that you think that would be valuable to the Google sheet, feel free to add it and we'll keep growing that list. That way people can start submitting and we can start getting more people with these placements to collect these royalty checks. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If you're new here, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you found some value out of this, I really appreciate it. If you would go ahead and do that. Also, if you're looking for some more information about how to get your music on these television shows, I do have a course, how to make beats for TV. It's a sync licensing gyms volume two course which includes a lot of different things that will really help you get your music placed on television if you do not have the money or the budget for a course right now i also have free resources on my youtube channel as well as a discord community which is really active and is really involved in helping each other out and helping the community build and create value for each other I do live beat critiques every thursday 10 a.m pacific standard time if you love some you know advice on how to get your music placed or if you want some advice on how to actually properly structure your beats or what beats place the most or anything like that please feel free to join the live beat critique send in your track and we'll go ahead and review it this is your boy skylar Bezero, the music producing grow with 